After some action at Ground Zero, we headed out into the streets to see what else we could find. Originally from Seattle, Robin Colonis came to Clarksdale on a blues tour, but took to the town too much to leave. Soon, she took up ownership of the old theater, and quickly thereafter, the new Roxy was born. One thing, real quick, I didn't realize this was open top. Yes, <laughs> yes, a lot of people don't realize, especially if you come in at night. Um, yeah. There's no roof on most of it. Um, there's some bird netting up there, but uh, open yeah. air, that's one of the things that makes us unique and different. It's got an interesting uh, acoustics, and it's nice, and people like it, and we have a fire pit, so we can have a fire in here yeah. sometimes. So there are times when it is cold and wet, and yeah. or hot, and um, no air conditioning. So gotcha. um, the number one frequently asked question here is, <laughs> what do you do when it rains? Yeah. And there's actually a drain in the floor right underneath the table. The Drain was originally there. It was a movie theater and oh, okay. built in the late 40s. It wasn't a fancy theater and they would just rinse the floor down, I understand. So this really? was like this concrete was the original floor. Wow. You can see where the benches were nailed mm -hmm. in here. So they tell me that they would just hose the floor down with all the syrup and popcorn afterwards. And so oh, that's wow. how I happen to have a drain in the middle of the floor. So okay. it works. <laughs> the fact that we don't have a roof any longer. So. All right. Everything we do here is kind of small and funky, but um, it's definitely, it's a fun experience and yeah. it's different than what you're gonna get in the big city. So one of the town mottos is Clarksdale, keeping it real. Okay. Um, where, you know, we're, we're proud of this gruffy, um, you know, um, a little bit crumbling heritage, you know, we don't. Mm -hmm. There's a, a fine balance between making everything all cleaned up and tidy and new mm -hmm. and um, letting things just crumble and fall apart. Yeah. So I, I need to remortar the brick so it doesn't fall down, but I don't want to replaster it and make it look brand new. Yeah. Um, so I came to Clarksdale, Mississippi as a blues tourist. Okay. Um, I'm from Seattle and I specifically came here following the blues music. I wanted to see some of the artists that I was familiar with listening to. I wanted to see them, you know, in Mississippi and playing in a jute joint. Okay. And then I was vacationing in Mississippi in Clarksdale and then I bought a piece of property in 2005. Okay. And then in 2008, I bought the neighboring piece of property, okay. which yeah. is the new Roxy. Yeah. And so primarily my focus is more about being um, for any kind of the arts, the film or okay. live music or live theater productions. So I just That's want this awesome. space to be used and be yeah. a part of the community and be a functioning part of it. This is a really interesting and open community of people here that connect with a lot of people that have moved here. Any day of the week in downtown Clarksdale in rural Delta, Mississippi, you will meet people from anywhere around the world, um, Europeans, um, a lot of Japanese tourists. Mm -hmm. People come from everywhere. If you follow rock and roll history and music history, you end up at the blues. And if you follow the blues history, you end up in Mississippi and, you know, okay. specifically so much of it in the Delta, so.